Next, we'll have distinguished Toastmaster Graham Miller, who will be rep, uh, presenting about Toastmasters Youth Training and Gable Club. And this will be five to seven minutes, followed by a five minutes Q and A. Before that, Graham has been the Toastmaster for 26 years, and he keeps young by developing. He keeps young by developing young people. Toastmasters uh, Youth Leadership Program is one of them and he's the Youth Leadership Chairman. So, great please. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters and our guests, what are Toastmasters Youth Leadership Programs? Yeah. Tonight I hope to answer that and to show what's in it for you. Firstly, a question to you. Who has been involved in the Toastmasters Youth Leadership Program? One. So we're fairly new at it. All right, there are several programs. Firstly, there's a new one that's on sale to any organisation and doesn't need to be run by a Toastmasters Club. I don't believe there's anything in that for Toastmasters. So I'll leave that one to one side. There are two that need Toastmasters involvement. That will give a benefit to you. Now, in the club here, you learn confidence in communication. You get up in front of your peers here. But what about taking that outside the room to a school, a church group, a scouts group, or any group of young people under 18, and using your school to develop the skills of those young people? If you look around the high schools now, you'll see we have a lot of great leaders there. They are the future generation of leaders. And from what I've seen in schools running 40 courses in the last 20 years, we are in good hands. Unfortunately, all the media likes to sell bad news, don't they? And all you see in the media are the bad ones. You don't see too much of the good ones. So you need to open your eyes to these. How can we develop these young people? There are two programs that Toastmasters has. The one I've been heavily involved with is called a Toastmasters Youth Leadership Course. I'll explain that first, and then I'll go on to the other one, which is called Gavel Clubs, to know a little bit about, but haven't been involved with too much. Toastmasters Youth Leadership Courses. It's run over six sessions of two hours each. A bit like a Toastmasters meeting, isn't it? And in that, you have what we have at Toastmasters. Prepared speeches, impromptu speeches, we have the evaluations, we have a general evaluation, we have fun with round robins. So there's typical things. The impromptu speaking, of course, is something they just love. They grab it with both hands and run with it. They like having a challenge. What do you need to do to be involved in a youth leadership course? Well, the first thing, you need to use a form. I have some copies here, but they're available on the net which is an application for a positive notice blue card. Does anybody here have one of those cards? A number do, yes. And the beauty in Queensland is, if you had one, say, from Scouts or a school group or something, you can use it in any organisation. You don't need a new card for each organisation you're working with. The reason we have that is to keep us safe, keep the young people safe, but keep the name of Toastmasters at a high level. We run courses that are safe for everyone. All right, once you've got that, you need to organise your course. Tonight I've brought along a folder that we use in Toowoomba to give to the students. There is a Toastmasters Youth Leadership Handbook. Actually, I don't recommend you use it because it talks about meetings like president, secretary, treasurer. That's not what we're training young people about. We're training them in confidence in communication not just running meetings. So we prepare some notes for them. I'll make this available to Jason, you can have a look at it later. But it basically has copies of our educational sheets such as preparing a speech, impromptu speaking, self-confidence. Sometimes we throw in your speaking voice. But the one we throw in that puts a lot of things together, handy hints for speech makers. Sounds like some of the things we do in Toastmasters. And in there, there are some organisational sheets also. Important one, our timekeeper love this, one on timing lines. Because we learn by doing in Toastmasters. It's the same in youth leadership courses. 
So we ask them to chair the meeting, just like the Toastmaster does. We ask them to do the timekeeping. They do the speeches. They do the evaluations. We're there to help them, but they learn by doing. Now, there are some other organisational sheets, and this is the secret. Don't tell too many people about it. We've got to keep it very secret. Who loves maths here? Sorry. Come on, Grace, you're a student. You must love maths. I was a teacher for 40 years. Yeah. Students love maths. <laughs> and you don't need a calculator for this one. It's just a system whereby, say you have 18 students on this one. Nine students do a speech. The other nine introduce speakers and evaluate them. And their second group of nine are chairmen, timekeepers. I was going to say telecounters. That's in a contest, isn't it? No. Uh, they are topics masters, topics evaluators, and round robin. So that's the secret, once you have it there. I also have one for about 12 students. Now you can run this for various size groups. I recommend 15 to 18. We're doing one at Toowoomba at the moment for 22. It means we have 11 speeches each night. Now, you say, what about that other course I mentioned, the gavel clubs? Well, whereas this youth leadership course was, how many sessions was it? Who remembers? Six sessions. How many hours per night? Two hours. A gavel club's a bit different. It's like a mini Toastmasters club. Well, who's heard about interact clubs in schools? All right? Because Rotary runs it, don't they, Linda? Yes. All right. So it's a continuous type of course where you need a commitment to have a Toastmaster there regularly at meetings. So it's an ongoing commitment. And you take that one group through for the year. Personally, I like the first course, because you can do several of those in a year and cater for the needs of many students. And the beauty to me, I believe, at my old age, you're all too young to realise this, is it keeps you young, keeps you thinking, keeps the grey cells going. So if you're bored with what's on the silly box at home, or on the tablets you've been playing with too long, and you want to get out and revitalise yourself and keep those grey cells moving, Get involved with our young leaders. Share the skills you've learned here in Toastmasters out in the wider world. Help to train the leaders of tomorrow. Get involved in a Toastmasters Youth Leadership course, or if you wish, a gavel club, and you will make a difference. Mr Toastmaster. And my first question would be, is there any uh, gavel club in Queensland presently? I believe, from what I've heard, only one down the Gold Coast. I don't know if it's still operating. So there's not a lot of gavel clubs at the moment. Mainly because of that ongoing commitment needed, it needs a lot of dedication. <coughs> so only one. They're not connected at all like to, uh, to other clubs? They're just standalone clubs, from what I understand, aren't they? They're usually supported by a Toastmaster to keep them going. The difference with gavel clubs from Toastmasters clubs is that you don't need to have registered every individual member. You need the executive and so many members. So it caters for more of a moving population as you'll have in schools with students coming and going each year. A, a really good advantage of gavel clubs is that every accreditation that you earn as a gaveler from CC through to ACG, but from, um, that's, that's on the communication track, sorry I should, should say the words, from competent communicator through to advanced communicator gold and from competent leader to advanced communicator bronze, whatever you achieve as a gaveler translates over to Toastmasters when you, when you turn 18 and join Toastmasters, but you can't go any, far, any further than advanced leader bronze as a gaveler until you become a Toastmaster, so and, then, to toastmaster. and then you do your high performance leadership. They have a similar system, same manuals, similar to that. And they're based on the CC manual, the Competent Communicator Manual more, because they don't usually stay long enough to do a lot of the advanced manuals. Other questions? I know a young lady down here has a searching question. She's thinking of it, trying to make it really challenging. <laughs> Come on, Grace, hit me with a question. No, I'm okay. <laughs> All right, Grace. Tell me, what's that thing called, please? Gavel. Yes, I've heard it called a donger, a banger and so on. <laughs> but you don't use that one in youth leadership courses. 
because a gavel is only a symbol of authority. So that's the one we use. <laughs> Special size one, and it only needs a light tap. You don't need a heavy bang like that one over there with a the sounding board on it. So remember, it's a gavel, as Grace correctly said, but it's a symbol of authority. Usually a smile will bring them, wait a minute, Mr. Toastmaster, will bring the attention of the crowd to you. Any further questions, last chance? Well, question for um, Tracy, Grace. And, Tracy and Grace. Um, are you interested in joining Toastmasters, Tracy? Yes, no, I am. Good. I am. Because, like, obviously Grace can't join Toastmasters. No. She could, like, if, if you, if you um, are a member, you could help us, like, as, as we're able to, to, to go into schools or, or whichever, do you, which are, whichever community group you want to involve and uh, help you to run these courses for, for Grace and, and other students. Yes, no, but, I um, think it's but unfortunately because you need to be 18 to be a yes, Toastmaster yeah. and uh, Toastmasters official rules are under 18s can't participate yeah, in Minimum age of 18, 18. We, but as Jason yeah, saying, we, um, yeah. we just wanted to come along but, and listen. Yeah. And, um, this is a benefit doing youth leadership courses of catering for the younger people, mm. not to let, let them miss out. Last chance for any questions? All right, I'll pass over to Jason the sheets, the folder that we give to the students with their name on, and the organisational sheets. I'll be here right through the meeting. If you have any more questions, I'm willing to answer them after the meeting. Mr. Toastmaster. Thank you.